Rosie worked this line for many years. Oh, and knows it very well. You know just where to stop, Percy, laughed the driver. You can almost manage it without me. Percy said the king. He speeded. He didn't realize his driver was good. <laughs> Later, he both it to the other. Driver says I don't need him now. <gasps> don't be so silly, Percy, said Hero. I'd never go without my driver's duck, Ernestine. I'd be frightened. <laughs> uh, Percy. <laughs> Percy, Percy, I'm not scared a duck. You never dare. I would then. You'll see. The next morning, the firelighter came. Percy growled, turned, and the warm spread had to spread from his boy. Oh, look at Percy. Hero and Duck was still asleep. Percy still made the mother. Silly stick in the mud. They chuck. He chuckled. I'll show them. Driver says I don't need him anymore. I'll, all I have to do is go out. Then I'll stop. We should blow my whistle. But, but what Percy didn't know, that a careless cleaner had met to with his controls. He felt himself rolling around and he to get the key from the shot. He soon found his mistake. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He said, we should blow my whistle. The, the Percy couldn't go. He tried to do it, but he couldn't do any of it. He just kept rolling along. And look inside the cab. Uh, inside the cab. He didn't want to know what will happen next. There was the signal man's house. The signal man was about to have breakfast with his family. Somebody help! Cried Percy, and he shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled. Broken glass tinkled everywhere. Plastic fell in all directions. Percy collected a bush on his trouble. He peered anxiously for the wind to his feet. Couldn't speak. He wasn't sure how it happened. The signal man was furious. Said his wife had summoned to the key. He banged the door so hard, more plaster fell on Percy. Percy, this never happened. At last, workmen popped up the house with strong holes, then they lay there off the dust. Meanwhile, Emily and Sophie arrived. Don't worry, he, Percy, they laughed. We'll soon have you out. Henry and Salty, puffing hard, managed to hold him back to safety. It's the fencing, the bush. Oh, look at his It's the fencing, the bush, and the broken window pole that became his fence. Emily and Salty locked it, left it. Sorry. Percy felt it. Percy felt the smack. Uh, look at there. There was worse. There was even more worse to come. Uh, see? Look. You are a very naughty engine, Percy. I'm sorry, sir. He said, muffling the hands of bush. You must go to the work to, to be mended. It will be a long job. You yes, see. Meanwhile, Stanley should do your work. Uh, th th Stan Stanley, sir? Percy fluttered in surprise. Yes, Percy. Stanley always stay in the shed until they hunt. Stanley always stay in the shed until he works. Stanley never runs off the bus with his station up in Signal Man's house. Then, as he walked away, 